Would you believe if I would say that Webnode is the most simplistic yet pretty functional website builder? Well, truth be told, this might actually be true. Stick with me till the end to find it out for yourself. What is up everybody and welcome to our Webnode review. I hope you're having a great day so far and I hope I will not make it any worse while you spend your time with me. So I've been using Webnode for a while now, tested it out and so I want to share my experience with you by providing all the information about this website builder. I'm going to talk about all the best features of this website builder, show you the most important sides of it, tell you who's it gonna be best for, tell you all the pros and cons of it and at the end I'll talk all about the pricing. Plus, I'll have a special deal for you at the end of the video as well. So although Webnode is relatively similar to other website builders, it has its own differences which I found to be interesting and attractive. So if you've been considering using this website builder for your projects, you might want to watch this review till the end, cause you know I also have a special deal again that is exclusive for SideGuys viewers. And by the way you can find more information, more written reviews, comparisons and special discounts on our website mybestwebsitebuilder.com. So let's get straight into the video. So starting off with the whole registration process. It's very simple. You will only need to have a valid email account and you log in with just a few clicks. Then you'll also have to enter a website name which you want to give to your website. Don't worry, this part won't show up on your website as it is more like a project name at first, but take note that it will also figure as a domain name which you can see right now, but of course, it will disappear after you connect your own domain name to this website you're creating. By the way, beautiful thing is that Webnode offers a free trial in the beginning, so you're not strictly forced to get a premium plan immediately and you will be able to test their builder out before going for premium plan. So yeah, the trial is gonna be for 14 days Days, which is more than enough to see if it's the right builder for you. Now, once you decide whether you want to create just a regular website or you want to go for an e-commerce site, you'll get to choose the template. So now we'll start with a regular website and later we'll see how their e-commerce site performs. Now what caught my eye is that you get a lot of templates to choose from. Other website builders tend to offer less or some of them come at certain prices, but Webnode offers them all for free, which is a great thing to highlight. I liked it a lot. Although templates don't seem to be somewhat special as they're more like simple than super mind-blowing. So if you're uncertain which template to choose, you can filter out the categories which suit your needs best and then find a suitable template. So it's Pretty easy to do that. Now you can preview a template just by clicking a preview button or you just choose a template by pressing the choose button. Coffee with passion, sounds just about right. So I'm going to see how this template works. So going deeper into this web node review, let's see what we have in the edit screen of our website. As you can see, templates do look pretty neat and attractive. Images, the text, including the fonts, everything looks pretty nice. Unfortunately, Webnode doesn't have a very advanced drag and drop feature which helps newbies to easily proceed with the editing process. They will allow you to change the position of, say, your text boxes or images, but they have predefined locations where they allow you to put them. Simply said, I would look forward to having this function improved on Webnode. On the other hand, all the edits can be done easily. Click on the box and decide what you want to do. What I love is that you can change the size of the text, edit the fonts, which is not a usual function for all website builders, change the style of it by adding a background, borders and underline the text. So I found these edits to be something that gives a little more freedom which is always a great thing. And also you can easily change the position of the image by simply dragging it anywhere you want but it will rearrange everything including the text, other images and everything else. So you'll have to work a little more to put everything into correct order. Hey guys and if you enjoy this kind of content and you find it useful, a like to the video is super appreciated. Now continuing this web node review, let's see what else you can do here. Say you want to add more sections to your website, you can easily do it by pressing a plus sign here and then add whatever you want. Anything from a text box, an image, a video button map, a contact form and many more. So this is one of the features which I found to be really easy to use and will be 
very beneficial for most of you guys. I mean, it's not that it's something very special and unique, but I just like that there's a variety of options here that does not limit to, say, two or three implementations you can add. Adding new pages is also easy. Just press pages, add page, and you find your best match. What is cool and I also find unique about Webnote is that you can work on the SEO of the page by adding the title, page address, meta description together with keywords and more. So Webnote is, you know, SEO friendly. And if you're looking into SEO seriously, which by the way you should, then you'll find it to be a great option. So now let's see what else you can do in the settings tab. Here's basically a bunch of simple but necessary features, but you won't find something unique here again. They will allow you to get a domain if you don't have one yet, get your own email address, add more people as editors to your website, work on the website settings. And here, by the way, don't forget to tick this search engine indexing as it will allow search engine bots to crawl your website and possibly rank on search engines such as Google, Bing and Yahoo. Basically, what will happen if you leave this box unticked, your website will not rank anywhere. Then you can change the design, such as colors, fonts, buttons, images for all your website. And then there's the Languages tab, which surprisingly allows you to add extra languages to your website with a click of a button. Although it doesn't translate well, at least you can add the functionality to your website and then do the translations yourself, as I would personally not trust the auto translation anyway. So I find it really useful. Okay, so now let's continue this webnode review by going to the e-commerce side of the website. As it adds a separate page to your website, you can see all the products here. Everything is pretty easy to understand here, as you can edit the product page, work on the stock, add promotions, create variants which are especially useful if you're selling products in different sizes, colors or specifications in general. And there's the advanced tab for extra SEO options. Guys, I remember that when I was reviewing this section, I thought that webnode will not have this feature but I was really happy when I found out. I must admit I don't like those website builders which do not look into SEO seriously and Webnode is pretty serious about it. And by the way you can edit the whole layout of your product page, add more columns, change the style how you see the products and so on. So I find their e-commerce side to be pretty functional and easy to use. And yeah once you set your product page up mostly everything is done for you. Your customers will be able to add their beloved products to their cart and go to checkout as soon as they decide to do that. So yeah, add your information and that's it. So all in all, it's pretty functional. If you want to read more about Webnode's e-commerce part, you can find a written review on our website mybestwebsitebuilder.com. There is plenty of information there as you will also find information about other website builders, different comparisons and of course, special discount codes made exclusively for SiteGuides viewers. And I have one at the end of the video as well, so stick with me for a few more moments. So. There are a few more topics to talk about in this webnode review. So after we have looked into what this website builder has to offer, I can see that it's mostly going to be good for anyone who is looking for a simplistic website builder. Although it doesn't have the most advanced tools and features, I still feel that if you're looking forward to creating your own portfolio web page, in the end you'll have a pretty good looking website. And the e-commerce functions are pretty good as well. Okay. On the pro side, I want to highlight that Webnode pays quite a lot of attention to SEO, which is admirable, and not every other website builder does that, so I see it as a benefit. Additionally, their editing tools are pretty intuitive and easy to use, plus the e-commerce part may not be top-notch, but it does its job. And I'm pretty happy that they're offering enough free templates so you'll have a variety of different options to choose from. On the other hand, Webnode still requires some of the features such as a functional drag and drop feature with a grid layer pattern, which would allow you to take anything you want and place it anywhere you want. Advanced users will still find Webnode limiting due to the fact that you cannot access the code of your website, which might be again quite limiting. Finally, let's talk about the price of Webnode's website builder plans. So there are four main plans. The most basic one, which is called limited, is actually pretty limited as it will have a very limited amount of free storage, which is limited to 100 megabytes, which is basically nothing. Unless you plan to use your website as a portfolio, then it's fine. The best two plans, which I would personally recommend, are the standard and mini. 
Basically, if you're not planning on selling anything online, get the Mini. You will get a free domain for a year, quite some storage and most of the necessary features. But the best value for the price, in my opinion, and although it's not the cheapest service of all, is the standard. So you'll get a domain for a year, enough storage and bandwidth to withstand quite some traffic. And the ability to use e-commerce features. And it all comes for $12.90 per month, which might sound like a lot, but I have a special coupon deal down below, which most of the time give a discount and you can save quite a lot. So check the link down below and grab your deal right now. I do my best to update these links as soon as I get better discounts, so check it out now. There's one link right below the video, and then there are plenty of other ones on our website, mybestwebsitebuilder.com. And that's pretty much it for our webnode review. Thank you for watching and please let me know what you think about this video in the comments section down below. It means a lot to me. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, you might not want to miss out on the upcoming videos. So you know what to do. Thanks for watching. This is Sideguide. I will see you next time. Bye bye.